Hello everyone, welcome back to Fastback Racing. My name is Jason and this is episode uh, 42, I mean, not episode, it's video 42 of F1 2021, my team career, and we are on season three, round three. Uh, we are at, uh, what is it, Imola? Imola? I still have trouble uh, with some of these names. Uh, uh, racetrack names. Uh, so we're we're going ahead and going to quality. Quality. Um, I did do. A, we're going to be doing a medium um, race, but I still do the one shot qualifying. Well, since it's raining, hopefully uh, Hamilton can get a good pole position. Uh, he did get a, a good pole position um, last time, so... And I just got the preset as a uh, balance uh, since there's uh, some really good straightaways here. Okay, good job mate, really well done. That was a fantastic drive. With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves of our top oh, three, man, Red, got up to... and Max Verstappen. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. All right, let's continue advance. I kind of wish um, the race was going to be uh, rainy. Come on, I need some interviews. I gotta get my sponsor. <laughs> All right. All right. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. All right. So we're doing uh, 16 laps. Hello there, and welcome back to Imola, home circuit of the Scuderia Imola. Ferrari. We expect to see a lot of local supporters in red today. They've all turned out for what we have every expectation of being a sensational event here at the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. 3.1 miles of track here at Imola featuring 19 turns, nine to the right and 10 to the left. 
Remember that Imola differs from most other Formula One circuits as it's driven anti-clockwise. Let's hope no one forgets that today. The exit from turn 18 will probably be the setup for many of today's overtakes, leading as it does into the longest straight of the circuit and its only DRS zone. Alright, so we can... It's time to see how our... After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. Okay, I think we'll keep that. I'm going to keep the setup, which is um, balance. There we go. Let's start the race. Okay, watch your pace. We've been informed that the safety car is out. There appears to have been an issue with multiple stopped vehicles on the track. Drop your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Uh, let's see. Uh, huh. Camera settings. Okay, we're gonna have to... We'll have to look at the highlight. Oh, this is, this is terrible. <laughs> Look. 
pace car is going too slow. Safety car is in this lap, safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature and remember there is no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. Green flag. Alright, cool. Ah, got a little bit of swirly there. Oh, I guess that kind of helped me. I got back in first. stuck in my throat. Allergies. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Understood, copy that. <clears throat> I think we'll go in um, lap eight. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. All right. Yeah, we'll do the... Replay or something after the race to see what happened.
time as the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. window open. Let's box this lap. All right. Yeah, so since I've been watching, uh, the career mode for uh, F1 2019. I'm trying to think what uh, like what team do I want to start out with. The ultimate goal is to get with Mercedes, but I don't I don't necessarily want to start out with that. I want to um, build myself up to going to Mercedes. I want my McLaren. Um, I don't think I'll do Renault because the, uh, the my um, my career mode um, that I'm watching. They started out with uh, uh, the YouTubers started out with Renault. Um, Maybe, um, go, go now. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. All right. Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. Oh, now, now it's green. Um, well, there's uh, Toro Rosso, which is now um, Alpha Tori. Um, I could do that. Williams. What am I doing, Red Bull? <laughs> good, uh, good job, nice overtake. Of course, there's Haas. At least with the 2019, there they have that rich energy. The rich energy kind of screws them over. <laughs> Alfa Romero. Uh, Lewis is in the pits. Yeah, I'm thinking of going with McLaren. I think that would be the first team I would pick anyway. Yes, I would love to be uh, the second driver of 
uh, Lewis Hamilton, and I want to want to get my career started with McLaren, then go to Mercedes. I don't really quite uh. Okay, the Lewis gap Hamilton behind is 2.7 seconds. Back in first. Because if you're not first, you're last. We're leading our teammate by 15.4 seconds. Wow. There's five laps of fuel remaining. Oh yeah, for me.
15. And for sap and uh, like right on us. I definitely see the fuel remaining. What? We're expecting rain in around ten to fifteen minutes. He's blowing me out. Okay, clear. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Yeah, we're gonna have to watch the replay in a minute. But he cost himself the second place, so that's good for my rivalry against him. That's the race win. Oh, Lando, the horse got the driver of the day. Awesome. So after a day of mixed fortunes up and down the field, we bring today's race to a close. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today. takes over the lead of the Drivers' Championship. Now, let's oh, right. discuss Lucy Alton got six. Is a contender for Driver of the Day. It's got to be Lando Norris, hasn't it? Smooth, confident and assured. I've got no doubt that he and his team are going to be over the moon with his performance today. Let's move on to the Constructors. The owner Drivers' team moved to the top of the table. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. Let's I can't see. wait to see... We're going to go ahead and view the replay. Oh, that's what happened. Alright, 
but Okay, let's do highlights instead. Let's do that. It's a little bit faster. So it looks like the Red Bull spun out. Uh, yeah, Sergio Perez. I keep hitting them. came into me. Luckily I managed to keep my Alright, that's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and advance. We'll go ahead and do some behind the scenes. Oh yeah, we need some interviews. Amazing performance there we go. out there. Finally. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. You took the top points today. Was it a comfortable win? Let's see. You've taken the lead in the championship. Are you going to be able to keep up that momentum? You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. Last year, you had a much harder time on this track. What made the difference this time around? Yeah, I feel I've Appreciate your time. vastly improved. I think I still got it at uh, the AI difficulty as a uh, 
at 55, I believe. So it's still on medium and they're still keeping up. So it wasn't like I ran away with the, with it. All right, we got all our money. All right, let's go do activities. We have two. All right, looks like we got nine again. Um, what new podium? Ooh. All right. Um, and then G-Force event. So we got that, let's check out uh, progress with R&D. Okay, so let's go. Oops. All right, we got two, I think I'm gonna go, yeah, we don't have enough points for that. Order this, so uh, let's go ahead and reinforce hydraulic lines. All right, um, go back. All right, let's go to. Unfortunately, event. we need you to step in and make an executive decision here. Okay, one of our. Uh, new merch items is generating a lot of negativity reviews. Uh, the biggest complaint being the item poor quality. Right now the amount of publicity it's receiving is minimal, but uh, it's a pretty bad look for us and doesn't uh, represent the quality we pride ourselves. Um, yeah. The department wants me to pass on their thanks for helping out. All right, so let's go ahead and advance. Okay, we've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. All right, good. So our personnel is fully spec three. Everything is spec. Uh, yeah. So that's good. Um, so we got to get this one up to spec three, but um, let me see. What's uh, that's ten and twelve. I kind of want to do sponsor relations next. All right, um, let's go back. Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, next race is Portugal, and I hope you enjoyed video uh, 42. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.